and people don't like you because your accent or whatever, screw those people. See you later. You don't like me because of my accent? See ya. Hey, you're Mickey. What's up? Hey, what's up, bro? How are you, bro? I'm very good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm, man. I'm Milo here. We're, we're working on, on a for sale by owner, trying to get it. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. You got a second? Yeah, 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 of course. Cool, man. So, um, I was talking to Camelo um, the other day, and he he didn't tell me exactly what was going on, but he said you were having trouble with something. What's what's going on? Well, the thing is, um, you know, I'm, I'm not doing well with the poles. I've been trying to, to follow different paths, I know, I know that's where the business is and that's what I have to do. But you know, I've been trying to do all these other things, trying to go on social media, um, trying to run ads. Because that's what I, what, I, what I used to do before I got into real estate. That's what I'm an expert in. Uh, so I've been working on that. Um, I haven't given enough time to, to call calling. That's where the problem is. And I, I know that's my, my, my weakness. So have you so are you having any luck with the social media? Um, not yet. I have, I have a lot of time and I'm, I'm full time here. So I'll be I, I will do both. But I was a little um, I wasn't focused on, on call calling. Okay. I mean, yeah. my, my advice right off the bat before we get into maybe what your problem could be with cold calling is the fact that you should be only cold calling right now. And once you get business and momentum and deals going, then spend a little time with social media. You're doing it backwards. Calls are where it's at. So tell me your problem with calls. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm coming from, well, I'm, I'm not a salesperson. I, I never was a salesperson. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying, that's why I, I joined Camilo, that's why we're doing this together. Mm -hmm. Because I know he is, he has a better experience than, than I do call calling. Mm -hmm. And I don't like to, to push people into, into doing something, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's why I love your, your, your method. You're not, you're not doing any of that. You're just putting yourself uh, to there to, you know, to help them. You know, I'm, I'm not good at that. So I, I, I need, I need, that's a, I know that's a weakness that I need to overcome, mm. but yeah. What makes you uncomfortable about the calls? Well, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm, I'm from Cuba, though, so my, 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 my native language is Spanish, so I get very, very comfortable talking in Spanish, but sometimes I, I feel like I'm, I'm lacking, uh, you know, a lot of words in English. Mm. So I don't want my conversations to go to a different way mm -hmm. just because I, 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 you know, I don't speak the language as, as you guys do. But there's a lot of Spanish speaking people down there. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so a couple things, man. Number one, if you have the right intent that you really want to help people, right? Right. Then don't care about anything else. Don't care if conversations don't like my training should really eliminate all these fears you're talking about because the fact that business is unlimited closings happen every day like business is unlimited for you you know this right yeah yeah do you really know this I, I know that. Yeah, I understand okay. that. Okay, so so therefore, the only thing between you and the unlimited business is talking to more people. Yeah, you're gonna run into people who don't like you because you're very accent. I run into people that don't like me because I'm a guy, not a girl. I can't do anything about it, right? Yeah. What I do is I focus on the people I have the good conversations with and build on those relationships while I'm calling more people to find more people that like me. I can come up with plenty of reasons why I should be scared to make phone calls. And then I can, and then I can base all my actions around those fears and I can say I'm just not going to make phone calls. I'm going to go do social media and do all these other things, right? Like I like anybody can come up with stuff. 
Don't be that agent that is coming up with excuses, man. I know, I know. Right. I know it's a, it's a, it's, it's one, it, it's an excuse. I know that. Right. So uh, let me ask you this: When you started, how do you hold yourself accountable to make those calls? Because I knew that that was going to be what made me the best, and I knew that I, I was going. Nothing was going to stop me from being the best. That's it. I either, I either wanted to be the best and I was going to make those calls, or I was not going to make the calls and I wasn't going to be the best. And that was the end of the story. And I made the decision that I was going to be the best, so that that meant I had to make the calls. It's That's real. Right. It's really that simple, man. It's either it's either you want it or you don't want it. You either want it bad enough to make the calls, or you don't want it bad enough to make the calls. It's black and white. I've, I've been trying to overcomplicate things. And, yeah. And you're right. It's it, it's it's simple. Yeah. Very simple. Every dude, everything is a lot more black and white than you think. And dude, if you talk, if you call people, and people don't like you because your accent or whatever, screw those people. See you later. You don't like me because of my accent. See ya. The next call is going to be somebody who loves you, and you're going to be like, man, I'm glad I made calls because I ran into this person that's going to do business with me. I can't wait to make calls tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day because I want to be the best. And like the whole, the whole script, the. The first part of the script, the hey, how are you doing? I'm enjoying the day, isn't it gorgeous? I don't want to take up too much of your time. Those three things are designed to make them feel so comfortable with you that on the back end of the conversation, they give you their email address. You got to do it. You got to put all these excuses in a box and throw them away. You're, yeah, you're right. I have, the, yeah. I have the same excuses. I mean, I could, I could definitely say all kinds of stuff. It's all how you look at it. So get all that out of your head, man, and just realize that that 10 to 20 to 30% of people you talk to are going to love you, and that's going to be your database, and the 70% that, that don't want to do business with you for whatever reason, that's fine. We're going to concentrate on the 20, the 20, the 10, 20, or 30% that do want to do business with us. The problem is, is you're making 100 calls, you're talking to 10 people, and you have one good conversation and seven bad ones, and you're thinking to yourself, man, this, this sucks. Yeah, it does suck. Going through the grind really sucks. But at the end of the day, if you had one good conversation a day for a, for a year and you had 365 people that loved you, that is a ton of business. Each, each person is 10 to 20 deals. So if you have one good conversation of somebody you never talked to, just one, if you make 100 calls and have one good conversation, you did 10 to 20 deals that day. And you're doing 10 to 20 deals every day. And within 30 days, you're gonna hit one of those one people a day are gonna do something now. Dude, it's out, it's out there, man. It's out there. I mean, it's, it's a buffet. It's right there for you. Okay, so let, let me ask you a, a quick question. When was the time for you? When was the, the moment of your life when you knew that you had to make the calls? Because I, 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 I don't know, do you like to make the calls at, at the beginning? Yeah, I, yeah, it definitely wasn't hard for me. Um, you know, it was definitely not as easy as it is now, right? But yeah. everybody goes through those stages. Everybody, the, what you're feeling now is completely normal. So right now I've been, I've been making the calls because I need them, because I need to make business, but I, I, I just hate to, to make those calls. So that's why I think trying to, to avoid making the calls and trying to build some funnels and marketing strategies. Adrian, when you do the funnels and you get those leads, what do you have to do? Call them? Yes. Okay. You, so, we're right back to making calls. So you're doing all this work and spending all this money and spending all this time just to go back to the same exact thing that we could just do right now without doing all that. You're gonna spend all this money and all this time trying to create these leads. See, so you can get like one or two or three leads a day or maybe even 10 or 20 or maybe 100 leads a day, I don't know. But, but with Red X for $50, you get 2,000 leads right now that you can right. go ahead and start working on without going through all the stuff that you're doing to try to get leads. And you pick, you pick your price point. 
I mean, if they go to a Facebook thing and go through the funnel and get to your thing, you know, they they still don't know who you are. You're still making a cold call. You've never talked to them before. You don't know how they're gonna react. You don't know this, you don't know that. It's still a cold call. You know, a lot of them don't even real a lot of them don't even realize that they went through your funnel and you got their information. You're st this is still a cold call. You're right. You're totally right. See what I'm saying? So what you're doing, you're just you're just pro you're just spending a lot of time and money to prolong the process. Hell, screw all that, dude. I'm I'm giving you the shortcut instead of going the long way around to get to the same thing you're going to have you're just you're just pushing off what you need to do, what you don't want to do, but you're going to have to do it sooner or later. You can spend money and time now, or you can just man up and go ahead and face what you're going to have to face later anyway, a lot cheaper. All right, all right. It's just the truth, man. So look, here's the thing. I got a, I got a roll, but here's the thing. I can't make these calls for you. You have to say to yourself, I'm going to do this because I really, really want this as bad as I say I do. And I'm going to have fun making these calls. And when people cuss me out or hang up on me or whatever, I'm going to laugh because I know the next person or maybe even two or three people down the line are going to love me. You're right. So either way it goes, I win. Your job, uh, Adrian, is to filter through the population and find those nuggets of people who love you. And the people that don't, that's part of the game. That's part of the process is going through the people that don't want anything to do with you to find the people that do. And if you're not willing to go through that process, then you're just gonna to continue to go down this, this windy road that you're on now of uncertainty, not knowing if you're gonna make it in the business, you know, very just low production, wondering, wishing, hoping, right? Right, right. Just step up today, stop everything you're doing, and go make a hundred calls and then do the social media, then do all the other stuff that you're doing. Tomorrow morning when you get up, go to the office, make your hundred calls and then do the social media and then do all the other stuff that you're thinking about doing. The calls come first. You're right, totally right. Yeah. And if you no. do if you do what I'm saying, then you're gonna crush it. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna succeed at high levels. I've done it. Let me tell you, I've done it before. I've done it before, and I, I and I got some some level of success. But you know, I, I was I wasn't being consistent. So okay. I know the process works, and I know it works for me. But I haven't been consistent. Then why are Just, we having this conversation? If you know it works, and you know it works for you, and so the problem's not the cause. The problem's consistency. Then. Are you going to be consistent? I have to. No, 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 no. Are you going to? I will. Yep. Okay. Problem solved, dude. You're going to be a top producer in the next couple years. If, if you do what you, if you are dependable enough to me and to you to do what you just said you're going to do, then you're going to be a top producer in the next couple years. I will. That's done. I will. Like, like you can tell your future based on your actions. You know what I'm saying? I will. You know where you're going to end up in a couple years based on what you're doing today. You're so. Right. And I will. And okay. I will do okay. it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, look, man. You know, this is my cell phone number, so just hit me up anytime. All right. Later, man. I'll do it. All right. Thank you, Ricky. Yeah. See you, buddy. Thank you. Have a great day, bro. Yes, sir.